All right, got another video here with the Sony Webby HD. Today we are using 1080 mode and uh, autofocus. And we're going to make a video here about uh, check engine lights. It's going to be on the 05 Nissan Altima. Um, I actually did get a, a check engine light, service engine soon light. Um, didn't even throw anything on it because I knew what it was. It's what it is every two months. My wife forgot to uh, tighten down the gas cap all the way. And that will throw an engine code. Just about uh, anything emissions related will throw it. Um, O2 sensors, what have you. Nine times out of ten, it's nothing major initially. Meaning uh, your engine's not going to blow up in five minutes if you don't stop. Um, every car I've ever had pretty much has been an O2 sensor, mass airflow sensor, that kind of thing. Um, but uh, as soon as I tightened down the gas cap, it went away. So I tried to replicate it. Couldn't do it. Of course not, because I wanted to make a video on this. It's the Actron OBD2 Auto Scanner. It's model number CP9175. I've had this little gizmo for about four or five years. I, uh, at one time, eh, a couple years ago, I was buying a lot of cars, specifically in BMWs, um, fixing them up and reselling them. And what I like to do is take this little booger with me to the auctions or an ad I see on Craigslist and see what's going on with it. And uh, so that's what I do. Now you can get your check engine light checked, if you're in Ohio at least, at any auto zone for free. The only problem with that is, is they will not reset them. They're not allowed to by law. So if you've got something simple like a gas cap and it needs tightened down, you tighten it down, the light doesn't go off. Well, you know what it is, but what if you get another code? Then you're screwed because it's still on. So um, this happened to reset itself. A lot of times these check engine lights do not reset themselves. You have to have them reset. And that's where this little beast comes in handy. So again, you can take them to the auto zone, get them checked for free, but they will not reset them. So you need a code scanner. Now, OBD2 started, at least with BMWs, that's what I'm more, more uh, familiar with, started in the mid 90s, I think 96 maybe, um, on up is OBD2. OBD1 was mid 90s down. There are two different kinds of scanners. Um, I think they may have some now that do both. Mine, this particular, this model here, only does OBD2. Um, and this, more about this model, it actually was a couple hundred dollars. It's well worth it. You can get them a lot cheaper than that. This is about four or five years ago. They can get them now for 70 bucks. Um, now, to use these gizmos, there's a plug. It's like a triangular type plug. It plugs into your vehicle. It can either, it can be in a couple, well, a few different places. This particular model is where it is on most vehicles. Under the steering wheel, it's on the knee bolster. Down, down there. I've seen them under the hoods, and I've seen them on the passenger side. Specifically on a Saturn, they're on the passenger side on the right hand side of the center console. So keep that in mind. And usually your owner's manual will tell you where they're at, typically. If not, go pick up a Chilton's or a Haynes, and that'll definitely tell you. <coughs> Excuse me. So that in mind, we're going to actually plug this gizmo in. And you can see can only go one way. Make sure the pins are straight. So, pardon my big butt. You plug it in. Now you can have your vehicle running. You can have it in the on position. Not the accessory, but the on position. Now, not sure if you're going to get actually see this. It comes up with, and you've got a scroll button here, up and down. There's your power button, scroll, enter, uh, rewind, or backward, erase. So, on the options here, you've got read codes, erase codes, MIL status, monitors, view freeze data, review, code lookup, system setup, blah, blah, blah. So, we're going to scroll up to read codes. Now, read codes, we hit enter. And you'll see, I hope you can see that, it says it's working. Now this may or may not pull up the code since the check engine light is off. Um, 
actually on this car, it's a, most of the newer ones, a service engine soon. Older ones say check engine light. So this is attempting to communicate with the vehicle. It's working and working. All right, there we've got a code. So EVAP emissions control system. Now, code P0455. And if you had more than one code, you just scroll up, scroll down. That's the only code we have. So it says leak, large. So you go back, you hit this little button here, and we're going to erase the code. So we're going to erase, hit enter. Working to erase. One code found, are you sure you want to delete? Hit up for yes or down for no. So we'll hit up for yes. Okay, command sent remain, hit enter to continue. So we'll go back up and read codes, make sure it got rid of it. Oops, sorry about that. Pass, no codes found. We've now erased our codes. It's as easy as that. Now one other thing you can do, if you didn't know what the P0455 code was, you can look it up on this, which is a pain in the butt, or you can actually save it. You can save the code, so P4055, save it to your Actron, go in the house, take the Actron with it, go in the house, and look it up on the internet. They actually have a website. Actron has a website that has most of the codes, or you can go and just do a Google Yahoo search and find what the codes mean. And that'll give it narrow it down for you. Now, the only bad thing about this is if some of these codes are really, really like this one, vacuum leads, really generic. You don't know, you know. So you can go to a forum and you can narrow it down to typically three or four possibilities. Um, and that's the same thing a dealer's going to do. Uh, they usually know a little bit more, but typically that's what they do. But like a P40, I believe that's what it was, 4055. It's tip, you know, I know on this car it's a it's a gas cap. Um, so that's about it. Real easy to use, and uh, it's well worth the money in my opinion. You know, if if you don't have a an AutoZone that's free, I mean, a lot of these places the dealership I think charges a hundred bucks. You can buy these boogers for probably seventy five bucks now, and take them with you when you go to buy a new car, used car, what have you. New car shouldn't have a check engine light on. But there you have it. That is. Uh, the Actron, just a little bit uh, about uh, check engine lights, and uh, again, we're using the Sony Web HD in 1080 mode. And uh, hope to do some more videos. I've got to change the brakes on this soon. I will probably change the serpentine belt to do for another one. I've got 85,000 miles. I've already put one on there, and uh, do some other little video, uh, videos with the car. And the BMW, I've got to uh, actually uh, do a timing belt and. Uh, some more of the body work as soon as it gets warm. It's right now it's about uh, 28 degrees Fahrenheit and it's, uh, it's warm in the garage because I did have the heater on. It's off now, but uh, it's too loud to record with the, with the heater on. So and there you have it, a little bit on check engine coats.